surprisingly, one more video for the evening. Uh, and this is a uh, magic video, surprisingly. Now, we apparently had a couple cards spoil, including Hawato, uh, Hawato's actual Planeswalker card. So, uh, and I don't know what the, uh, I don't know what exactly the legitimate reason for the spoilers are, but we have them. Uh, so let's just, let's just go with the headliner. Hawati, warrior, or Hawato, warrior poet. One black, or some one black, one white, one red, three of any color for a three loyalty Planeswalker. Okay. Plus two, you gain life equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. Not a bad ability. Now, it doesn't protect her. But it's um, but it's a good kind. It's not a bad ability because you her zero ability creates a three three dinosaur creature with trample. So right off the bat, you're able to get a creature for free that protects her. Uh, she's able to do some uh, supplementary ability, which some people frown on life gain. It's not a viable win scenario, which is technically true. There are cards that do it though that let you win um, by life gain. And, uh, you know, and this is one of those, I'll play, to, uh, you know, I'll play, I'll put a 3-3 three, three dinosaur down, and I can gain life, or I can just continue to make 3-3 three, three dinosaurs, protect myself, and if I so choose, if I'm down life, I can gain life. Like, this, this see, this card's actually pretty solid later in the game, if you still got a creature too, but you're starting to really get whittled away by, like, chumpers that can fly, or whatever, or you got a big guy who's just swinging in for damage, you can just gain that life back. And then her X ability, she, Hawati Warrior... Poet deals X damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures. Creatures dealt damage this way can't block this turn. So essentially, um, yeah, it's you know it's divide wipe a board wipe or just deal damage can't block whatever it is. Uh, which then you can just overrun. As a whole, she's a pretty solid card. I don't see myself using her uh, her X ability very much. It's going to definitely be the plus two and the zero ability. Um, and probably the zero ability is kind of probably going to overtake. Like, she'll definitely be have a home in the dinosaur deck when I build it. Because, yeah, I'm building the dinosaur deck, hands down, when I get when this set finally comes out. And about in a couple weeks, you better, I bet your ass I'm getting myself a dinosaur, I'm making a dinosaur set. Uh, I'm getting a box of just making a dinosaur block. Uh, so moving on, Sentinel Totem, or Totem. One of any color. Artifact. Uncommon. When Sentinel, to Sentinel Totem enters the... I don't know why I'm having trouble talking. When Sentinel Totem enters the battlefield, scry one. We know what scry does. You may tap this and exile... Uh, tap this card and then exile it. Exile all cards from all graveyards. Um... Okay. It, it does something. I mean, the scry's fine. You're pretty much getting a free look at the da uh, top card then. Uh, they're really piling on the graveyard hate with a couple of these cards. I'm, it, I mean, the arts, I love the card. Look, I love the look of the card. It looks beautiful, but, meh. <laughs> uh, let's see now. Ixalan's Binding. One white, three of any color for an enchantment. Uncommon. It's also our actual first story card. Card. Jace awoke to certainly that, to, to the certainty that he was lost. So Jace is stranded on Ixalan for some reason, somehow. So we need to know why, because he apparently can't... Uh, either that or he's not familiar with the plane, therefore he can't planes walk off it. Uh, so, yeah. But anyway, the card enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls until the end, uh, until this card releases the battlefield. Opponents can't cast spells with the same name as the exiled card. So essentially, it's... Um, Detention Sphere. That's exactly what it is. It's more expensive on overall cost, but it's easier to play as you only need one color. Uh, but more, it, basically, that is what it is. It is Detention Sphere, hand, uh, sphere, sphere hands down. Uh, but for that being said, Detention Sphere saw a lot of play. Uh, even as someone like me who is not familiar with a lot of the other formats like Modern uh, and uh, Standard, all that stuff, I was aware that Detention Sphere was a big deal. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, yeah, those are just the three cards I got spoiled. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Best and we'll do a review at some point. Almost there with the Who Would Wins. Come on, we're almost there. One more day. And what ifs? I'm going to do two tomorrow to compensate for lack of Rick and Morty and uh, this week and the fact they kind of missed the what if earlier this week, plus box office and final Who Would Win. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you folks next time.